Today we're going to have a very interesting video where we're going to measure how much of a difference a difference in string tension makes when looking at the speed of your ball. Now everybody has always heard about you know lower string tension meaning that the ball gets faster, it's harder to control, yet there are some pros on the ATP Tour that play with string tension that is very very low. Namely Adrian Manorino who plays with a string tension around 20 pounds which is super low. Uh, and then there's obviously other pros like Yannick Sinner for example that play with string tensions uh, in the 60s. So that's very very high. So we got one racket prepared here that has a very high string tension around 60 pounds and I'll show that in a second. And we have one racket prepared that should be in the low 20s in terms of uh, string tension. And so now we're going to take a couple of serves and see how much of a difference it makes if I serve a full power serve uh, in terms of the total power that comes out of the racket. But first, let me show you uh, that the string tension is actually what I said it is. So we're going to start with the first one here. Okay, this should be the loose racket. Let me show you. So we're going to put the string tension uh, measurement here, right where it's supposed to go. Hang on a second. This is easier, I think. There we go. And now we're going to turn it until it shows us the exact string tension. So here this should be about the right spot. Uh, and we can see it's about 25-ish pounds. Okay, now let's go for the second racket here. This is going to be a tough one. I should do it from the other side because we need more strength here. We put it in the same spot. And I have to keep turning until I reach about 60 pounds here. So we got one around 25 pounds and one around 60 pounds. Now let's go right into it and let's take a look at how the string tension makes a difference. Now one last thing to note here, both of these rackets have never been played before. Um, they're strung with the same strings, pretty much the same dampener, same overgrip, same weight, same everything. So that should account for all the other differences that we could see when we're taking a look at the power output that comes out of my serves overall. 119. 118, 129, 123. Okay, one more. Should I show it? Sure. One twenty five. Okay, show that one. So this is now the racket with twenty five pounds. Let's see if it hits the ball any harder. Ready? Yes. One twenty eight. Okay, show it. 126. Show it. One twenty seven. Okay, show it. So as we can see, it doesn't really change a whole lot. Uh, maybe on average it makes my serve a little bit faster. Uh, I think we had, what was that, 126, 127, 128 in the, um, you know, with the lower string tension here. And I think the higher string tension went between like 122 and 129. So it's in the same range, but the power output seems a bit more uh, consistent because if I touch the ball a little bit closer to the sides and I don't hit it perfectly clean, it still comes out pretty fast. Um, so yeah, it probably helps a little bit, but let's take a look at it uh, this way. The string tension is very, very different in these two rackets, and the difference in power output is not that significant, um, considering that with this low string tension, you're probably not going to put a whole lot of balls inside the court. 
So I'm not sure if it's the perfect idea for you to go for a lower string tension to add power because if you're just lowering your string tension by two or three pounds, you may be adding a tenth of a mile an hour, but then also you're losing some control. So I feel like the drawbacks of lower string tension are quite significant in comparison to the power output that we gain. So try to think about it uh, from your own perspective. Maybe you have perfect control. Maybe for you, low string tension is great because you can still control the ball anyway and you get that extra little bit of extra power. But if that's not the case for you, maybe stay away from it and go for a regular string tension like most players. Like for example, 55 pounds, like what most players do between 50 and 55 and feel good control while also adding a good amount of power. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.